Hey guys, welcome back at Tempest Redesign. Today I'm gonna make this landing page for a company that uses broken computer parts. This landing page consists of a header with this hover animation in the nav menu. Now we have the main section over here with this beautiful button. I will show you how to make this as well. Then we have here our company name, Tempest Redesign, the main image. I will show you how to get an image like this and how I edit it. I will also tell you how to find the right colors for your design. And I will tell you how to make this footer with these icons over here. And this has a small animation as you can look closely. They will get a little bit darker when you hover over it. I hope you like this design. And if so, please like and subscribe. In my next video, I will show you how to make this design responsive for your mobile. I hope you like it. And now let's start designing. We start with making our main section. First thing to do is to drop in a container. Make it full width with a width of 100%. Also make the view height 100 then set the item direction to vertical and make the gaps between elements zero. The last thing you need to do is go to the advanced tab and unlink the padding. Now the main section is done. Now we're going to style it. Go to your style tab, open the background and set the background to gradient color. The first color is a brown color and the second color is orange. Then set the location zero, linear and make the angle 90. This is the color of our main section. Now we're going to make our header. Our header is full width, the width of 100%. The minimum height is 10. The item direction is horizontal. And the justify content is space between. Make the alignment item at center and the gap between elements. You can let it stay on 20. Then go to the advanced tab and unlink, of course, the padding. I'm also adding a margin over here. Then it's time to put our logo in. Our logo is an image this time and I made it with Canva Pro. I will show you in a minute how to make it. Drop in the image, upload files, and this is the logo that I want. Set the image size to custom, width 55th, and here also apply. And the margin on the left side is on 5%. The width of the logo is set to 50%. And the alignment is set to start. So, and this is how you made the logo. Now we're going to insert the nav menu. Okay, the nav menu is a layout horizontal, alignment on the right, pointer in the line, and a fade animation. I have no mobile menu because I'm making a separate mobile design. So I set it on none. Then I will go to my advanced tab and unlink the margin and padding and set a 5% padding on the right. Then go to the width, custom width of 50%. Now you have a little margin here on the right side. Now I'm going to add my colors. It's just a white color, so I copy it from my main section. And this is how you make it. Uh, I can show you, if you want, the typography in this kind of Roboto, size EM, the weight is 500. And if you go to the colors, the text color is white with a little bit transparent. And the hover also with a little bit more transparent and also the active. Okay, now we're going to build the main section. For the main section, we have to add in another container. So add new container. Now we have a new container over here. Full width, of course, with a minimum view height of 60, 75. Direction horizontal and the gaps between element on zero. Also go to the advanced tab and set the padding values on. Inside this main container, we're gonna make two separate containers. So this is the first one. This first container set it on full width with a width of 45%. The minimum height is 60 and set the direction on vertical. The justified content at center. The gap between elements has to be on zero. Then go to the advanced tab, unlink the padding, and now you have made this little box over here where we're gonna put our main section in. Then you can duplicate this. Now this is duplicated, we're going to resize this container over here. So make it full width, the width not 45, but 55. The minimum height has to stay on 16. For this item, set it on row horizontal, the justify content can stay on center, and the align items also on center. The gap between elements, you don't have to change that as well. And now you have also made this box. If you go to the style tab, we can add a border for this box over here. The border type has to set on none, but for the top radius, I want to have 100 pixel over here. You will not see it at this moment because we don't have the right background color for this. So go to the style tab, open the background, set it on gradient, go to your color. The first color is the orange color that we know. 
and the second color is a little bit lighter. The only thing you have to do is to change the angle. So set the angle to 270. I don't know why he not has this color yet. So we're going to do it again. Yes, this look, looks more like it. For our main section, we are going to drop in a heating, then another heating, then a divider, a text editor, and a button. This button is from this button is from unlimited elements, but you can also use a regular button. Now we're going to style everything step by step. We start with the first heating. For the first heating, we want two uh, two different colors. So you do that in the following way: span class. is a um, color and then the word that you want to change the color of and then close it now go to the advanced step go to custom css and paste in the following code and now you can see this color is the same color here as the container over here now we're going to style this heating go to your style tab the text color has to be set on white the typography is Roboto, of course. And now we're going to style this. It's just a white heading with the text typography Roboto. And it's made a little bigger. If you go to the advanced tab, I've also set a margin right of 0.5 on the left side and 0.5 on the right side. Now we're going to style the second heading. Now go to your divider. The divider is set to the left side it's not a solid divider but a zigzag divider now you have this animation over here now we're going to style it as well and now it's just white and has a little margin on the right side and on the left side of five so it won't so you have little space on the left side but also i have add a little margin on the top side and a negative margin on the button side so it will get a little bit closer to the text underneath it the text underneath it we're going to style it as well and there's just a white text and i will change text to a real text so the story is correct and now it looks much better already the last thing you need to do is to style this button over here first set in text that you want i have two dashes and you can link it to another page but for this design i don't do that because if you use it in your designs you have to link it of course then i will style it and now is the orange color with this uh, with the black background like here the text hover color changing to the brown the text color is that a little bit orange and a neon effect also i have changed this button with custom html i will show that over here so press on content to the advanced edit widget html because in the first time i have opening this widget because it goes really fast but i have made the animation a little bit slower you do that to go to the step over here open the css and here you can change the animation i have changed the animation to three seconds because it was one second so i have done it from one second to three seconds this is three times bigger this was 0.25 so i made that three times bigger 0.75 this was also one second i made it three seconds i did that here as well from 0.5 to 1.5 from one second to three seconds and here as well from three seconds from one second to three seconds and this was 0.75 I have changed that to 2.25 and that's how I changed that animation and then you get this really slow animation of this dot around the button the next step is to make the image slide in an image that you like change the image I use this one I have the image size medium large and if I go to the style tab I have to make it a little bit smaller so I have the width on 60% that just looks more like it and of course the link padding and link values can be set off now I have here my logo, there's just another heating, so set in the heating, type your name. At this moment it's just horizontal, we want it placed vertical. By do that first go to your alignment, set it on center, then go to the advanced step, go to custom CSS and paste in the following CSS. You can also do that with the transform app, but I did it with the custom CSS. Then go back to your layout and change the CSS class to text. And now it's been changed. This is not the end result that I want. So go back to your layout and change the position to absolute. Then the horizontal function on the right, the offset minus 10% and the offset vertical 51%. And now you can see it looks much better. Now the only thing that we need to change is the style. It's just the brown color with the underline, so paste style 
And now this is the end. Now we're going to the Canva website and show you how I find my colors for this design and how to adjust all the images that I used. So drag an image. This is the first image that I have used. If you want to find the color, click on the background, press on background colors, and here you can find the colors that are already in the image. So I use this color and this color for my, for my design. So that's how I find the colors to use. I just look at the image that I used. Now I want to remove the background and add a shadow. If you go to the image, adjust the image, and you have a, and you have a setting where you can delete the background image. So use that setting. Now it's deleting the background image of this picture. And now you have only the background image. But I also wanted a drop shadow. The horizontal angle I have dropped back almost behind it. And I have a little vertical angle of it. And now you can see the shadow is already here on the lower side. And that's how I find my pictures and the colors that I use. Now let's go back to Elementor to finish our design. The last thing that you need to do is to make the footer. So I go to my heading. I Add in a new container, and now here is my footer. Unset the padding link values, make it full width, width 100%, the view height not 10, because, because 15, we want direction, horizontal, and a gap between elements on 0. Inside the footer, we have other containers. So drag in your containers, this is the first one. Also make that full width, set the width to 10%, and you can leave the rest as the default setting. Go to the advanced tab, and unlink the link values, of course. Then we're going to drag in another container, make it full width. The width is 100%, the minimum height is 50, the direction horizontal, aligned items at start, and the gap between the items on 0. As you can see, my container was not set in the right place, but now it is. Now it's inside the third big container. Then go to your advanced tab, the layout, and link the link values. Now it's much better. For this footer, we have the dark brown background color. So go to your style tab. And now you can see we already have that dark background color. Then we also have a border for this design. Set the border type on none, the border radius on pixels, unlink the link values, and the top also on the pixel, just like this section over here. Now this has the same radius as this. Inside this footer, we have four small containers. So we drag in the first container. That container is set to full width, 20%. The minimum height, 15. The advanced tab, link values, paddings, of course, off. Then go back to your layout settings. Item direction, vertical, justify content at start, and the align items at center. This is the first container. Now you can duplicate this four times. The two middle containers has a different width. This one has a minimal, has a width of 30%. And the second one also, the third one, I mean. And now you can see it's the whole page is covered in the first container of this section we drag in an image it's just an old school floppy desk set the image size to thumbnail set the width to 100 percent then go to the advanced tab set the margin paddings off and add a left padding of 20 pixels then we go to the next container over here that's just a text so drag in text editor you can also do that for the third one Make the text a white. Also make this text a little white. It's a little bit much text, so I'm going to delete a part of it. This is better. Also do it for this one. And for this text, you also have to go to the advanced tab and add in a margin of 3%. On the top, on the right, 5%. And on the left, also 5%. I've also done that for this text editor. And the last thing is the last container. And there we have the icon buttons. So drag in the icon buttons social icons and now you can style them it looks a little bit weird when i style them but when we close the navigator you will see they just stand next to each other you go to the style tab you will see the primary color also that orange color and the secondary color that brown color so it matches the design and this is how you make the footer i hope you like this design and if you like please like and subscribe and see you in the next video where i make it responsive